My name is Robert Heise. I'm the Executive VP and General Manager of Global Display Solutions. Uh, we're based out of Rockford with our global headquarters out of Vicenza, Italy. So this is our seventh year at uh, Digital Signage Expo. Uh, in fact, we even get the little pink seven-year uh, 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 attendee badge. Um, we find uh, the Digital Signage Expo is our main show, so we look forward to this all year long. We start planning for it uh, pretty much right after this show ends, but it always comes right down to the very end before we get everything together. But I think this year is one of our best, uh, best years ever at DSE. Over the years, as we've seen digital signage mature, uh, a lot of trends have, have developed like 4K, especially as it related to hardware. Lately, there's been a lot of emphasis on content, and I think that's because uh, people are getting used to digital signage. Uh, you have to do something different. One of, the, one of the interesting trends we've seen this last year, and it's been with, with one of our own installations, is we did a face-to-face -face video conversation on drive-through displays. And Starbucks has been deploying these across the U.S. So if you go through a Starbucks drive-through and you see a, a large LCD in the drive-through, but you don't see the barista inside, ask them to turn their camera on, and you'll have a face-to-face -face conversation with them. So we see that as interesting. It's kind of a way of, of disrupting a little bit the the technology and creating a little bit of customer service as well. There was a video actually that was on YouTube last fall of a woman in Florida who actually gave her order at Starbucks using sign language and speaking back and forth with the barista inside. Uh, she had her daughter take a, uh, the video of this conversation. It was phenomenal. It got hits from all over. It was like three million hits from all over the world. And it was a great way to showcase that kind of technology, people being able to interact even if you're not right next to each other. GDS actually put together the outdoor display, so that's one of our, our, uh, our techno technological advantages is doing displays for indoor, but also very rugged outdoor displays. And so we were selected as the best outdoor display for that drive through application, and we helped put together a lot of the components. In fact, our booth here at DSE has an interactive demonstration of that exact same drive through display, so you can actually see both sides from the perspective of the order taker inside the store who's viewing the camera, but also viewing what's on the screen at the driver's side in the drive-thru. A lot of times people looking to put together a digital signage system or network look for what they think are the most important pieces like content, um, what people fail to consider until it's either too late or they consider it at the very end is the type of hardware and whether it's appropriate for the environment it's going in. We talked about outdoor displays, but it doesn't even need to be outdoor. It could be at a shopping mall or at the airport. You'll look and see displays that look like they've aged or aren't working very well because they weren't intended for the environment or for the application that they're uh, being put into and so my tip would be to focus on the environment you're going to use your digital signage network in and, and do a search and look for all the different types of hardware you could use and make sure it's the right fit for your application. A lot of our displays were designed uh, particularly for the service, for, for trying to get the cost of ownership down. And people don't recognize that. They may say, I'm going to put the cheapest solution up, but if it fails and they've got to spend money to send somebody out to replace it, it doesn't really help. We've designed a lot of our products so that they can be maintained in the field and very easily by swapping out components. So we focused a lot on that cost of maintenance and just making sure that the, the customer is happy ultimately that the displays are up and running and that they look the best. I think the challenges that uh, the digital signage industry faces um, really are trying to get all of the decision makers in the various departments in a company to be able to come together. I, I think that even though we're seeing a lot of deployments, it's still new. And so you may have a company where the IT department is doing one thing and the marketing department wants to do something else, and then you've got facilities or operations doing something else. Uh, and this is particularly at an end user level. There really needs to be a kind of policy that's set in the company about who's doing what, who's selecting the components, who's determining how the network is going to be maintained, how's the content strategy going to work, because it ends up 
getting piecemealed otherwise. And I think that's probably one of the biggest challenges we see in talking to various companies is they're trying to figure out ways of getting it in and perhaps trying to figure out how to do that around other departments in the company because that hasn't been set or decided on. There's a lot of new titles that are being created every day, it seems, in the digital signage industry. Uh, and sometimes it's just figuring out, especially for a company like ours, figuring out who it is that we need to end up talking to because of that. Uh, there's usually somebody in a guru type of a title that really has carte blanche in a company to kind of help decide. And I've seen this at some of the largest corporations where there's somebody coming in that's trying to navigate the waters a little bit and to try to help figure out what the best way forward is. You know, there's, there's a lot of sub-shows, especially that we might get involved in, where digital signage is part of that industry. Uh, the National uh, Restaurant Association has a show that obviously digital signage is becoming more important. Three, four years ago, you didn't really find a technology section, um, but there are, uh, but we're not here to talk about that. Uh, the Digital Signage Expo is really the, the premier signage event globally. Uh, we find that we can come here not only for the exposure, so people that uh, want to learn about digital signage or look for new solutions uh, can find us, but we also meet most of our customers here. And it's a great way to bring all of our products here, or at least our most important ones and the ones we want to show off and have people get a look at it in one space. It's hard to, to lug an 80 inch display around the country to show customers. So this is a great opportunity to have all that hardware in one place. DSE, simply amazing. 